Hey guys, Joe here, doing a Monday video. If you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to get subscribed. Uh, there's going to be more videos, mainly since I'm going to be where we're going to be talking about a lot more frequently. So, with the sound of the cicadas in the background, let's dive into this. So, subscribe, join, all that good stuff. Help us grow the channel, and you'll be seeing why in a second. Daniel and I, my shooting buddy, and I've known him for years and helped him start his gun store down in Harrisonburg, Virginia, Liberty Arms. Check it out, Google it, can't put him a link. But anyways, we have been, for the last year or so, more and more actively looking for stuff to sell, flip, whatever. Uh, we used to do some flea marketing stuff back in the day and when we, he worked at GameStop and I was working at the car dealership and I had tons of stuff in my apartment. We used to we used to make pretty good money at it. Well recently we decided to actually make it a business mainly because with the amount of eBay sales we've been doing, uh, Hilford's Curiosities by the way, check it out. Uh, I don't know if I can link an eBay store but if I can I will and uh, you can check out what we have there but we've been finding a lot of stuff and tax reasons and personal reasons wanting to be his own boss our own bosses we've decided to kind of dive into this more full-time and also I've been tired of sitting at home I worked 80 or 65 to 80 hours a week for 17 years in the car business so I'm a decent salesman but I was also bored for the last four years that needed to change. Putting on weight, you can see it there. You'll see it, especially when we're walking around because non-flattering angles when you're tall. But we went and looked at an office. It was like 100, 120 square feet. They wanted 300 bucks. We were just gonna throw a desk and a shelf in there, list stuff on eBay, keep our storage units, and be done with it. And we decided that wasn't gonna work because the lady didn't tell us she didn't have any spaces yet still wanted us to show up to the viewing. Mm -hmm. So I was pissy, I get that way, when somebody does something extremely bizarre and stupid like that. And I was uh, talking about it to my friend at the pawn shop, and he was like, you know, our buddy Kevin, he's, he's got some places. I think he's got one that would be perfect for you. I'm like, really? So I called him up, and he's like, yeah, man, I got the perfect one for you. And he gave me the friends and family discount, no doubt about that, because this, this dude's He's good people. He's a firefighter. He works at the pawn shop. He runs a, a rental uh, agency for uh, properties. I mean, just a good old dude. And he took care of me. And it's that's what happens when you have friends. So keep that in mind. Don't be a jackass. I wasn't going to say that, but don't be a jackass. But he hooked us up. Uh, today is Monday when you're seeing this. We got the place on Friday. So... Bear in mind, we got a lot of work to do in here still to get stuff set up as well as uh, procure items to sell. So I'm going to do a little bit of a walkthrough with you right now. And if you made it past three minutes, um, the answer is four. But anyways, front hallway leads back here and around the corner. And immediately you'll see you've got two big cutout windows with two rooms on there. And we'll start over here because this is the, well, it, for now, it's actually one of the emptiest rooms next to the storage room. But this is going to be our little uh, rec room, or relax, or food room, eating room, things like that. It's got a couple of sinks in there because this used to be a barber shop. And we are not gonna take out any of these cabinets, none of that, we don't, I don't care. You know, we leave all that stuff in there. The sinks work, have running water, all that stuff. We brought in a little, little mini fridge. And there was another station over here and we're going to leave that because, as you can see, we have our, um, our, our our scale and another whole little area to pack stuff up. And that's cool. One thing you'll see is the lighting is pretty poor in some of the rooms. This one has fluorescent in this room. It also has all these spotlights, which we're leaving up again. So at night, we can make it a little dimmer in here. But this place is getting all LED replacements, courtesy of the manager, uh, my buddy. And that's going to save us on electricity as well as make it brighter. You'll see in the next couple rooms. We painted in here already since Friday. We came in, we painted, Daniel painted. I let him paint. I don't like to paint. But we still have to do the trim. So the walls are a cream egg color and these are going to be a bright white. This is going to be, here we go, bright white as well as the ceiling will be white. So it'll be a little bit of a contrast. And with the LEDs, I think you'll be able to see the difference pretty well. Across the hall, this is going to be our main office area. 
and we still have to get everything sorted and set up for that. And sorry if the audio is in and out, I might be covering one of the microphones with my finger. But this used to be a side where they had a train set up. So that's why these little spotlights are up here because you can aim them at the track up there. And we're not gonna do anything up there because I'm going to bring in all of my Iron Man collectibles and stuff and put them up on the shelves and Daniel will bring in some and we'll get that done. But you can see, I mean, it's difficult because Google has the night vision, but you can see like on my face, it's darker. So we need to get this brighter in here. Brought my gaming computer from home. This is my water cooled X99 build because I wanted a fast computer here. If I'm gonna be here 30, 40 hours a week, might as well enjoy my time. Uh, picked up some stuff like a new wireless, not a new, but a used wireless printer that works. So that'll save us some money. And we're gonna get probably a nice, I'm thinking a big wood slab, just run it across legs underneath it, one giant desk, and we'll just put a couple computers on it with uh, something in between, maybe the printer between us. But that'll take up that whole wall, and then we can put up uh, a shelf there or a table for taking pictures for our eBay stuff. Again, link in the description, hopefully, unless you forget. But walking into an even darker room, <laughs> yeah, that light doesn't even work, so we gotta get that one changed out. Again, they're coming tomorrow, so that'll be good. But in here, Kind of where this is what's going to be the beginning of storage. We got stuff there, stuff on the floor that we're going through, stuff in both our storage lockers. So we've got plenty of stuff, as well as a little testing station so I can test controllers and systems. And this one's his personal system, but we can use it to test games. But we just did that yesterday, went to the flea market, got a GameCube, tested it, sold it, and made 50 bucks. So that's the way to go. Right now, I have just this recliner in here that'll probably go in the next room. In in probably a week or so once we find a couch for in here because this might as well be a comfortable place to just hang out and sit friends come by on the weekends we can have gaming parties whatever because this is this is a pretty pretty isolated building especially in the evenings so that's good that's room number three so we're already way past 100 square feet this is the bathroom every place need one obviously we have central heat and central air it's actually in back there yeah, I guess there used to be a shower in there because this used to be a house and they converted it to have that. Moving on, in the hallway here we have a 7 eighths wall. This wall was put up probably uh, in the 80s, I would say, because of the wonderful shiplap wood on there. But coming in here, this is something that's basically for me. Sorry. Uh, I'm trying to hold out at my arm's length. doesn't work too well. But in here is going to be my work area. So we have shelving here, in process, projects and testing will be there. We're gonna put mailing stuff down there. But right here is the important thing. That is just a little nook. It's got electricity there and on that wall, uh, this nice slab up here gives me plenty of room to work on. And I'll be able to do repairs, tests, leave stuff up, computer builds, whatever I want to in here and not have to clean it up right away because this will be the work area. So that's good. Uh, plenty of storage for stuff. I'm gonna put LED strips under there for extra light. And this will just be where I do stuff and probably film firearms or one of the other rooms haven't decided yet. We'll figure that as we go along. And that'll just work out perfect there. The people next to us, I guess they were originally going to keep this side and actually come into it. So this room, need some repair the wall down there is pretty destroyed but we're going to fix that and then repaint in here as well i guess they were putting a doorway to come through from the other side of the building but that's gone or it's going to be gone as soon as we fix it so all that being said what does that mean for the channel well number one uh it means that i'm going to probably be putting out a little more content number two it means that we're also going to be diversifying a little bit in what we do. Uh, I was looking just for electronics and video games, but now we're, we're selling a little bit of everything, so that'll be good. Number three, as long as the income goes to the level that we want it to, that'll allow us to do more stuff on the channel, such as pick up crazy stuff, like $4,000 alien pistols and all that good stuff. So. If you stayed this long, thank you so much. 6,000 subs, thank you so much. Let's keep growing this thing. And if we buy estates or storage lockers, we'll take you along and do some unboxing on those too. So 
Help support the channel. Use our links. Subscribe. Join. All that good stuff. And, as always, I'll talk to you later.